This video will walk you through how to share content on Equip Challenge. You must be enrolled in a course to post content. If you have not yet enrolled in the Quick Start course, click Settings, Course Administration, Enroll Me in this course. Now you can post content in the forums. The forums can be found on the main course page under the Lessons. To post content, first select the discussion topic. Now click Reply to share your content. We will cover three ways you can share your projects. The first option is to upload a file, such as the document, movie, or podcast. Type the name of your project in the subject line. You must also type something in the message box. We'll say, here is our statement of intent. Notice the subscription option as you scroll down. If you subscribe to a forum, you will receive an email whenever anyone replies to the discussion. This is a great way to be alerted when someone comments on your amazing project. Click Add to open the file picker and locate the file you wish to upload. Don't forget to save your post by clicking Post to Forum. You can still make changes to your post for a short time. Here is our uploaded file. The disadvantage of uploading files is that it requires other users to download it to view it, and they must have the appropriate program to run it. That's okay, but let's check out another option. Method 2. Put all the content in the post message itself. Click Reply under the original topic post. Type in a subject. This time we're going to copy and paste the content from the Word document into the text editor. Copy with Control and C or Command and C. Paste the content with Control and V or Command and V. Click this icon to expand the text editor to fill the window. Notice that our cool faucet image didn't get transferred. Click the icon to leave full screen mode. We can still upload the photo. Click Add, find the photo, and upload it the same way we did the Word document. Make sure you click Post to Forum. Now we can see the photo, but it's out of place. The nice thing is others can see the content without downloading it, but we do lose some of the formatting. The last way to share content is to share a link to content you created online. Let's say you created content in Google Drive you'd like to share. Click the top reply button, add your subject, Now let's jump over to Google Drive. Here's my statement of intent. Click Share to get a link. Change the Share setting from Private to Anyone with the link. Click Save. Now we can copy the link at the top using Control and C or Command and C. We're going to jump back to the text editor in the forum. Using Control and V or Command and V, paste the link. You still have to activate the link. Select the whole thing and click the little link icon. Paste the link again in the link URL field. It wants you to type in a title, so type one in. You don't have to, but it will warn you if you don't. Finally, remember to save everything with Post to Forum. Now, anyone who visits the forum can click on the link to view the content. Here are the three projects on the forum page. The first was an uploaded file. The second was pasted in the text editor itself, 
and the third was linked to another page. This should give you lots of options to develop and share your projects. Click Quick Start 101 in the breadcrumbs menu to go back to the course main page.